welcome back to Perla Never Counts Lips here. This is CLE Language Arts 4, Book 2. It's recorded live right here in our classroom. I hope you enjoy. All right, fourth grade lesson eight, complete subjects and complete predicates, starting with some review. If you say, my aunt sings, does aunt need to be capitalized? No. No. What must the subject of every sentence agree with? Subject. The subject must agree with the? Verb. Verb. Good, we must have subject and verb agreement. Okay, if you want to know what the word modify means, where would you look? Glossary. In the glossary. The index will tell you where it is. And then one for you, Shana. What do you call a drawing that shows how different words fit together in a sentence? To make this drawing. Um. Diagram. I know. It's a diagram. It just slips from your mind. Okay, the new lesson. A llama ran to the fence and cheery birds sang in the tree. Let's look at a llama ran to the fence. What is the verb? Ran. Ran. And what is the subject? Llama. Llama. Okay. We can break this sentence down and say that it has two basic parts. It has a subject and it has a verb. It's a subject and a verb. Or, we can also talk about those two parts as being a complete subject or a complete verb. The complete would mean all the words that go with it. So all the words that go with the subject would be a and llama. And all the words that go with the verb is ran to the fence. Ran to the fence. Okay, let's find a simple verb in the next sentence. Cheery birds sang in the tree. What's the verb? Sang. 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 Who or what sang? Birds. Birds. So we divide right between birds and sang. And all these words would be the simple subject, I mean the complete subject, and all these words would be the complete predicate. Sentences are made up of two parts. A complete subject and a complete predicate. The complete predicate says what action hap is happening. It says what the complete subject does or is. You think you understand? You think that's going to be too hard? I don't think it'll be too hard. Um, let's look at number one there in your book together. What is the complete verb in number one on page 28? The verb? We're going to do it one together here on page 28, number one. What is the complete verb? Cares for the baby. Excellent. And what's the complete subject? Father. The father penguin. Good. For number two, what is the complete verb? Wrote. That's the simple verb. What's the complete verb? All American. of it together. Wrote in American dictionary. And what is the complete subject? No, it's All right. Do the rest just like those two. Enjoy. <laughs> 